Thank you for the support that you Speaking have. during the launch of the new digital number plates at the General Service Unit GSU Reke Unit Headquarters in Rero, Nairobi, Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi was accompanied by Transport CSA James Masharia, among other top government officials, said that Kenyans have 18 months to conform to the new system and the main aim is to deal with insecurity in the country. We're doing this because we want to increase the security of our country. That's why we said this project essentially is a process of securitizing motor vehicle registration as a way of addressing uh, the security challenges we've had in the country and as a way of ensuring that we are able to clean up our society as much as we can of wrongdoers and people whose intentions may not be good for our country. Secondly, we are doing this because we want to help other agencies in government like the Kenya Revenue Authority. And, and, and the others to function effectively. We are trying to help the finance sector. Very happy that uh, today as we walked around and as we were taken through, we have witnessed uh, transformation of our country in as far as the registration of uh, motor vehicles concerned. And uh, very happy that you accepted the uh, invitation to come and do the official launch of uh, the new uh, number plates that are aligned uh, to uh, teams and uh, NTSA programs as a journey towards uh, dealing with insecurity in this country. The CS at the same time called on Kenyans to cooperate with the National Transport and Safety Authority NTSA officials when called upon to change the number plates. The replacement of current plates will cost up to 3,000 Kenya shillings. The interior boss has said that it has taken the government months to come up with a solution to curb the escalating cases of vehicle theft and fraud in the country. We are doing this because we want to live in a clean country, I mean in, a, in, a, in a, an environment with reduced uh, crime, uh, as it were. There are many families, many individuals who have painful stories to tell about how they have been swindled uh, through uh, convoluted processes of motor vehicle registration, how they have lost money. Uh, to people who purport to be selling vehicles to them, and in actual fact, uh, they either are not the owners of those vehicles, they faked out the books or the, the information on the vehicles, and then end up, uh, uh, you know, defrauding our people. On his part, Transport CS James Masharia said that today marks a very historic day for the transport sector, adding that plates will cover 12 categories of vehicles in line with legal notice of 62 of 2016. And so today, uh, Riri is a very big milestone that uh, what seemed a dream then has become a reality. It's so important to us because uh, it forms a basis of monitoring a movement of uh, transport uh, vehicles uh, and other vehicles, personal vehicles. Uh, as you are aware, the number of vehicles in this country is actually be go going up in a very, very, very fast rate. Uh, two years ago, uh, Chair, the number of vehicles in this country were only about 3.2 million. Vehicles meaning, you know, four wheel, two wheels, 3.2 million. Today is 4.8. And so, if you want to monitor the movement of vehicles within and across the borders, what you are doing today is actually very historic. The new technology forms a basic for tracking and monitoring vehicles in the country, which have risen significantly from 3.2 million last year to 4.8 million this year. Uh, as you know, as government, one of the main promises we made to Kenyans is that we are going to be digital and that we're going to ensure that the way we use our data, the way we use our information is going to make life easier and better for everybody. And so today is, uh, is a major milestone to see this production facility, which is now bringing to life or even bringing our vehicles and making them uh, finally digital and accessible to our security uh, services, to the insurance, to the banking, so that everybody can now be able to interact and, in, uh, and work well with their vehicles. Uh, we've seen the examples of how using technology we are able to go through the expressway. You know, in just uh, seconds, you're able to, to just drive through because you can be identified. And we want to ensure with the vehicles, we're able to do the same across the country in ensuring that, one, people cannot continue to fake 
uh, number plates um, it's not majority but this ensures that now we can move fully into this digital environment. ICT CS Joe Mushero pointed out that it is a milestone for the government to see the production of the digital number plates saying that it will be accessible to security services. To ensure comprehensive and complete integration between the data sets and then TSA and other data sets. It 